What's up everybody, DP Connect ID Life HD, and today we will be reviewing Shaq Fu A Legend Reborn. Did we play this on PS4? Yes. But when we saw this came out on mobile, we just had to try it. And the fact that it's only $4.99 helped us make that decision too. With that said, let's get into it. First, let's go over game mode. There's only one game mode in this game, no multiplayer or online play. Just a single player mode. With that said, there are a total of 6 worlds with several levels each to play through. Since there is only one mode, let's go through the settings that are available to you in this game. When you start the game, you get a few things to click through. On the settings buttons, you can turn down the sound and music. You can turn the voices on or off and change the language to various languages options available to you. They also include a restore purchase button and a credits button where you can view all the names of the people that were involved with this game. When you click on Shackopedia, you get three tabs with a ton of really cool information. If you click the enemies tab, you get to see the in depth of your characters and enemies. You get a movies tab where you can watch all the movie clips in the game, which is pretty cool if you happen to miss one of the cutscenes. Lastly, you get a specials tab where you can see all the objects and power ups in the game and get in depth information on those too. Up next we have controls and gameplay. The controls are just okay, they're not perfect. I wish the left joystick was a floating joystick because as it is now it's static and the problem with that is that your thumb will move out of place and suddenly your character isn't moving where you want it to go. But it's not all bad because eventually you get used to how to move shaft. The other minor gripe about the controls is I wish that the buttons on the left hand side could be customized and moved around. It seems like they are a little bunched up together. But once again you get used to this. I'm going to warn you right now. You will get a few moments where you will get stuck in a corner because you are not moving the joystick properly. But all in all it's not bad. I wish they had added gamepad compatibility to this game though. I wish the roll button was a button instead of moving the thumbstick up twice or down twice. The dash button does work well and kind of replaces the roll. The gameplay is our favorite part of this game. It reminds us a lot of Street of Rage because you get power ups like Shakta, Shock Diesel, Ground Power Ups, Power Kicks and Dash. But you also get to pick up signs, swords, bows and more. All this together makes up for a really fun experience that reminds us of the old school beat em ups. Now interface design and graphics. The interface design is really high quality and really clean. I would expect nothing less from a game that showed up on all consoles. I do have a few complaints though. When in the game, the screen doesn't cover the whole standard widescreen format. It appears to be a little bit thinner. It's probably formatted for the longer iPhone maybe. Either way, it's a little annoying and you have those black bars on the top and the bottom. The buttons in the interface are really responsive, so I don't have much issue with those. The graphics are really good and very comparable to the console version of the game. Of course it's not the most impressive looking in the first place, but for being on such a small screen it looks really nice and appears to be a lot of the detail that was in the original version. Also the loading times appear to be normal compared to the console version. That's so nice. Up next we have music and sound. Bel Air was a long way from the strip. Going my way. You going to Bel Air? Hop on! The music in the game is a mixture of Asian music, rap, hip hop and electronic. It's funny because some parts Shaq actually talks to the developer and asks him to play some rap music. It's awesome. Of course the intro music and the music that plays on the main menu is Shaq himself rapping. The sound is great. Every enemy has their own voice and sounds when they get hit. Shaq himself talks a lot throughout the game and almost everything he says is actually kind of funny with some of it bordering on cheesy. So if you're a fan of cheesy humor you'll really like the sense of humor in this game. Last but not least, story mode. The story mode in this game is just silly, but it's funny and all around fun. Basically you just play as Shaq as he apparently thinks he's Asian, which in reality he is not. But I guess he was born in Asia in this game, from the place of Hong Glow, yeah. <laughs> Let's just leave it there. His mentor Ye Ye dies as he tries to avenge his death by getting through numerous celebrities that are apparently possessed by demons. The whole story is a little crazy and has a very interesting yet predictable twist at the end. Listen, the story isn't gonna win any script writing awards, but it's fun nonetheless. All in all, this is a really fun and humorous game that we were not expecting to come to mobile. 
but it did and most people will love the sense of humor and the fact that it plays a lot like old streets of raid games. So if you can get past the slightly fidgety controls, you will really enjoy this game. If it gets a floating joystick or gamepad compatibility, this is a no brainer to buy, well worth $4.99. With that said, this game is definitely Delight HD approved. Alright everybody, thanks for joining me. Let me know by commenting below if you agree with me or my opinion. If you like this video, remember to smash that like button because it really helps us out a lot. If you want more content like this, remember to subscribe because we release mobile game content like this very regularly. Also, remember to follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more mobile game updates. Peace.